Hello and welcome back to Wayside Car Valentin and yet another video on the channel. I uh, do hope you enjoy this one. It's a very dirty Land Rover Defender today and the owner wanted it sprucing up. As you can see, there is a green moss everywhere. She was uh, wanting it spruced up and hoovered and uh, wiped down on the inside. So you can see there's moss on the inside of the windows. I think it was parked up against a tree or a hedge or something like that for a quite a while. Um, due to the time I had to do this one, I did get a bit rushed at the end and didn't get any footage of the completed interior. I did get a bit of the start, but uh, you'll see it uh, sort of came out quite well in, inside uh, up to where I stopped taking footage, but I did get the exterior. So do enjoy the video, please subscribe, give it a like using that button that's specifically for liking videos, and uh, yeah. Here we go, let's get on with it. All right, so I have got Yum Wheels and then Garage Therapy's Decon Shampoo to do the tires and look at the dirt coming out of there already. Uh, this car is absolutely green. I mean, yeah, green. There you go, working away nicely on all the wheels. I'm just gonna leave it to soak. It's gonna be a right good decal. I'm gonna use citrus in a bit. This one's just been sprayed, so not so much work going on there. But yeah, here, yeah. oh, look at that muck being pulled out. Like, just that. It's a very good use of Garage Therapy's Decon Shampoo as a tire cleaner. The um, brake dust is very bad on here. There are a few old, really crusted on bits of dirt. But I added, so you saw me put Yum Wheels on, and that was actually a bit diluted. And it's done a great job, obviously, but I just added a bit of, um, you see the pink, uh, Epic Automotive uh, wheel and tire cleaner, which I had uh, still going. No, just getting these huge wheel nuts with the uh, detailing brush from Ballet Pro here. Just for those bits. They're actually coming up really nice. They're massive wheels. Defender badge here. Land Rover Defender. Not been washed in a long while. Uh, barrel brush, EZ cog. Calipers aren't too big on this, so I can get right in there. Look at that map. <laughs> Just catching a plate on that one. So, be careful there. There we go, and get just past that plate. Just the back of the disc, uh, there's that every car has them, I think. Uh, right, I've got me. Wheel face brush here as well. This is um, yum wash in the bucket, just to add to what products I've got on the wheel already. And just got to use the wheel mitt and I need to balance for that and uh, the tire brush I've shown you in the time lapse.
tyre conditioner on later. I'm not going to use my uh, car scope brush because it's going to be too small. I mean, I need a bigger brush for this. They're enormous. Look at the dirt coming out. It's soaking in decon shampoo. It hadn't dried out. Really. I don't think I'm going to have enough water in my water bath, but the whole rinse down process. There's some of that stubborn dirt there. No, that's just a bit of wheel corrosion, unfortunately. Alright, to pressure wash this. Stand clear. Another way, apart from this, this is caked on it's really gluey. All right. Yeah, these wheels are coming up nicely. That front one has. Defender. That's right. Compared to uh, the last one, still to go. Okay, let's start with the bodywork. Yum Citrus. Fresnel sprayer. On all this mossy stuff. Right, I've layered it in uh, yum citrus to get it soaking into all of this moss. It only seems to be on one side, which is good. I'm going to have to get my step ladder out for the uh, top. But otherwise, I'm just going to leave that. So I'm going to put Garage Therapy Snow Foam version one, because I've got so much of it left, all over the car on top of this citrus. So let's start that. There's a lot to do. Right, garage therapy snow foam is dwelling. Cup of tea time. What a machine. The other two sat here. <laughs> Golf needs a clean.
Wow, well I've rinsed it off, it's had its contact wash. I didn't film the rinsing off it. I mean, there's, there's gunk inside the window, look, that's inside. Let me know. We've got that worst section, which was this quarter, is uh, looking good. But no, um, yeah, that was Yum Wash um, on the contact wash. The majority of the dirt was removed by the snow foam and the citrus given the undercarriage a good blasting out loads of mud and that under there wheels those little marks on there are corrosion typical alloy wheel corrosion where they've not had much you know they've not had any coating on them to protect them or uh, been uh, cleaned at regular intervals i'm now going to it's such a big car i'm going to use um Autoglim's Polar Seal to seal it off because that's a lot of car to uh, do with, uh, say, you know, a spray sealant. Yeah, it's ready for it. It's fully rinsed off, so I'm going to do a real good portion of Polar Seal just to give it some obviously hydrophobic protection. No major scratches. There's a, a bit of a dent on the roof where I think a car's gone under or something low few panels there I mean look at this there's already reflections coming through it's a, quite a dent there yeah happy with that very happy just got to do the inside wait till you see that okay literally just put a coating of auto glims polar seal you have to rinse it off immediately so there you go and you see all the beading already as it's been put on covered the entire car now I've got to get it off before it dries it's uh, an immediate rinse off but uh, yeah there's a lot of work here right it's uh, had its polar seal done rinsed off dried off and we have got results it is looking amazing obviously defects in the paintwork as uh, I've shown you but um, otherwise I think this car has really come up nicely the next thing is the interior so the windows have to be done on the inside of that in there uh, wheels apart from the bits of corrosion and rust like this I think it's uh, really come up nicely I did use during the drying process some yum ceramic as a drying aid and uh, yeah look at that roof's done as well I'll take you up there up the ladder yeah the roof looks great just about to put the uh, tire uh, conditioner on that's a before it's an after looking nice continentals how much does one of these tires cost i'm using the uh, Yum, tire, spongy, hex grip, malarkey. These tires have got deep grooves in them. I could use the brush. It's just too dark for this size of tire. tire gel on all wheels tire conditioner happy with that obviously yeah unfortunately there's scratch
scratches in the car. This is a just a standard sort of valet really. I'm not going to. Uh, I mean, he can come back if it wants to have those all done if they want. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, very impressed with the, the outcome. Just got to go to the insides now. So the insides. I've turned it round now, and uh, yeah, we're dealing with dog hair, muck carpet as carpet, not floor mats. Quite a lot of dust around the top of here. Just gonna get the hoover in. Yeah, jack in the back as whack. Oh, do the windows on the inside as well, obviously, because that will really improve the look on the outside. Where I've turned it round. Really impressive shine. I mean, it's a Land Rover, it's British. There we go. And uh, like I say, forgot to get that footage, but uh, yeah, I was really happy how the interior came out, and so was the owner. Do hope you've enjoyed the video. Like I say, do please subscribe to the channel and also give the videos a like and uh, we'll see you in the next one which is coming soon new products on their way and uh, hopefully some other cars as well all the best everyone this is wayside car valentine signing out